It's Bill Crafting Team with a brand new vlog and today's vlog I'm going to be telling you some of the stuff you should use or personally what I use for my videos. Now you don't have to use these things I have to say I'm just recommending them to you guys so if you want to start YouTube and um, stuff like that um, this is just some of the stuff I personally use and you know maybe you could use them so it's not a set video I'm not going to be telling you like this is what I have here and that kind of stuff. Well, it kind of is in a way. So I'm just gonna jump right into it because I I haven't got like it's nearly one o'clock in the morning. So um yeah. Um the first thing is you need a gaming PC or not even a gaming PC. Uh, just a PC generally, genuinely, and um, whether it's Mac that has a built-in screen, microphone. And webcam, which is great. Um, I mean, not so much great if you're doing gaming. I would much prefer like if you went for a PC, but it, obviously it's up to you. So personally, I use a PC. I was going to use my Mac for editing, but I've sold that to me dad for the price of zero monies. Zero. I know. I know. Um, he has his own workstation here. This, this, that used to be my workstation. But well, I'm moving upstairs, but that's going to be a brand new video, like vlog. Um, anyway, this is mine. Um, this is my PC. Um, I don't know the specs of it because it didn't come with any specs, like on a sheet. Or maybe it did, and I just threw it away because I got this for Christmas. So, um, it's got a front panel which has a, um, oh, what's it called? Um, SSD reader, um, a disk drive. Um, two USB ports on the front. I think that's USB 2.0. I think um, power power input. I think that's what you call it at the top, which is normally what's on all of them. You've got the your sections here for your graphics. I'll lift this up just a little bit more, or I'll tilt you down. Um, got three lining inputs. You've got microphone, a headphone jack. And a blue one, which I'm not sure about. You've got two USB 3.0 slots. You've got two HDMI slots right here. And you've got two US two more USB 2.0s. You've got an Ethernet cable um, slot there. And then you've got your fan there. And another fan up there. Um, so that's about it for the PC. So I recommend if you start gaming, go out with one of the pre-built ones, which is this. But it's actually meant for gaming PC, and then later on when you get the money, this is obviously your choice. I recommend then building your own PC because many of you are thinking, I'm, I'm assuming many of you you people are thinking, um, why not just build a PC with the money spent to get this? It trusts this was like what like eight hundred pound. Some of the stuff for PC specifically like gaming parts are a lot more like we're talking thousands of pounds dollars wherever you're from. So that's why I recommend this, just until this it's got no use, which PCs still have a use. Um, but I know, um, like obviously you don't have to use that. I, I'm going to be honest, once you're starting on YouTube, you'll do anything, whether it's gaming videos on the Xbox. You'll be using, um, sorry, I was just looking behind us. You would use anything to a goddamn, like an iPad or something, or an iPhone, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, I know when I was little, I used to use the webcam on this thing. I haven't opened this up in so long. I mean, you can see my mum uses it for her work, and it's just trusting this has been in the family for like since I was six or something. I, I, I mean, I don't even remember when we got this. I know we had two of these. I think this is what was, was. I think this one was my sister's, but I mean this is still running perfectly. So you know computers that don't really have a run out date. I used to use the webcam on this to do my videos, and um, so you know even just stuff like that, which leads me into the next. The, f the first thing, obviously, I've, which I've completely skipped, is well no I haven't. The first thing you obviously need something to power all those products that I'm about to show you. And the next thing you need to have is a desk to store your computer or to store your monitors or if you've got a Mac to store your computer with your monitors in it because you know Macs like um, Apple Macs I believe that's one of, one, one of the ones that's not an all built in one like an all in one 
but I'm sure the rest of them are. Like laptops is all obviously a built in all in one anyway. That's why it's a laptop because it stays in your lap and it's. Wait, why do they call it a laptop? I don't get it. You can put it on your lap, but what's the top? Hmm. I'll have to research that later on. Anyway, so you know, all in ones stuff like that, just store on your desk or you know that kind of thing. Um, so obviously you need a desk and then you'll obviously need something to sit on so whether it's just a, a garden shed chair or just one of them fold out chairs and that kind of stuff or just even like a this kind of chair which obviously is broken and it's not very comfortable but I've kind of adapted to that um, and that's it you need a desk chair and a computer that's, that's the baselines base base baselines if you don't get a Mac and um, you will need to buy a microphone which I've done here I've bought this anyway because the sound on a Mac um, actual built-in sound that's ass basically so yeah that's next on this you need a microphone if you've got a Windows computer or I believe you can do recording on Linux I'm not sure whether you'll I'll have to find that on later on so you've got that and if you want to do webcam videos, you will obviously need a webcam. Now, this, I believe, is, um, oh, what's it called? I'm really sorry, but um, a, C, a C720, I think that's what it's called. C720 Logitech webcam. Um, my personal go-to thing for webcams, because I, whenever I look on people's videos and they're using webcams, they use the C1080p. Um, the C... 1080 I think that's what it's called anyway and um, they're using that I like the 720p because it's the same quality as this which because I'm recording on the Mac at the minute um, so yeah um, you need that if you want to do that kind of thing if you're thinking of doing obviously gaming videos on your PC you will obviously need to find a program whether it's free or whether it's um got you need to pay some money for it you know at the end of the day they're all they all do the same thing don't they i mean they can't really offer anything else apart from like an editing software with it which on on if i'm going to be honest i will go with one of the free ones and then buy or get a free one free editing software separate um, personally, I like um, Final Cut Pro for my Mac. I'm not sure what I'm going to get for my other PC, like my actual PC that I'm going to use now for gaming. So you'll need that. But if you want to do like sort of like Xbox, PS4, that kind of stuff, or maybe even iPad gaming, you know, it's it's completely up to you. iPhone gaming, that kind of stuff. You, my personal, if you're looking for getting in with cheap price, kind of cheap prices, that kind of stuff. Go for this Elgato Game Capture HD. It's um, it's HD. Obviously, Game Capital. Game Capital. It's a new name. It comes with the HDMI in, which you'll plug in. You'll plug one side of the HDMI in there, and then in the Xbox, and then you'll flip this round. The HDMI out goes into your TV monitor. TV slash monitor USB. It's not a mini. I'm not sure what it's called. But as you can see, it's kind of like the old kind of PlayStation chargers. Like the PlayStation 3 charger thing for that, for their controller. It's kind of like that. And they've got an AV in for the play, for obviously the PS3. Um, or some other stuff that requires AV. So that's definitely a good thing. It comes with um, a definite, it's, it's easy to use, free software. It's just called the Elgato Game Catch HD software. It's completely easy to use. It's I don't see how you could get yourself mixed up with anything apart from trying to figure out game audio. But um, you know YouTube, you just search it up, and literally it'll take two seconds just to set that up. So you've got that bit done. And um, you've see you've got everything now. You you've got your computer. You've got so this is running along the lines of. Like Windows or Linux PCs. Forget about the Mac now. Um, you know, you've got that all nice and dandy. And then you think, I need something to put my, my game or my Xbox or my, my, my PC on. And then you just sit there thinking, I paid all this money and I forgot to buy a TV monitor. Or a TV or a monitor. 
So that's definitely something on the list because I've just completely forgot that. Everyone makes mistakes. Um, I personally have the Samsung. Samsung, I always say it wrong, curved monitor. I think, yeah, it comes with a headphone jack, a HDMI in, an RJB in, and a DC 14 volt power power cable input. I think you can also mount this on the wall. It's curved almost, just like tinsiest bit, but it's classed as a curved monitor. It sits on the desk nice. It's got, um, it hasn't got speakers, but I like the whole curved design down here. It's lifted up. Like the monitor and the stand here that are lifted up quite nicely. Um, we've got controls on the back. Obviously, I'll just let this focus because it's you know the light. It's black. Mine's been a bit bent, but you know that's easily fixable. Just get the hammer and break the monitor. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um, so yeah, you got just press the power button on the back, like some with some TVs, and obviously the whole it's just a ball joint. Um, power, power, um, cable thing, whatever. Um, so, but if you don't want to spend the, if you want to spend even less, and just be able to have like a standard screen. Um, I recommend going for this one. This one's it's a Philips one. I do not know what the actual name is. It has no HDMI, but I think this, if you're looking to spend less money, I think this is really good for what you're getting. And you can unscrew the back and everything, and I think this is really good. Um, so yeah, I mean that's all that I have down here. Oh no, no. Obviously, you'll need something to go with your Xbox, or unless you're doing tutorials. Um, so if you want to play games, no, you don't have to. But obviously, you know I'd recommend you know if you're at the age, it's got Grand Theft Auto in it. I don't know why, but um, oh yeah, because it's like um Xbox. You know, you can a uh, you know, game for instance, stuff like that. But yeah, um, I think I've covered everything. Obviously, you'll need a mouse and keyboard, but that that most PCs come with that already. Um, yeah. If you were to ask me the question, PC or Mac, um, I would go with PC. But if you were to also ask me the question between laptop or PC. When I say PC, and you know, I mean the, the whole tower things, that kind of stuff. Um, I recommend a tower, like a PC, um, solely because it's um, it looks more professional, in my opinion. Um, you can add extra stuff to it, and since it's the whole separated thing, that you know, the screen separated from the, you know, the whole thing here. One, you can change the quality of the screen by getting a brand new screen that kind of stuff you know i'll just call the monitor because it's it sounds much more professional which is what i need right now uh, so i think that about covers it i think the video yeah it's been going on for like 13 minutes so it's already past my recording time so um yeah i've pretty much covered everything in this video so don't forget to like and subscribe um, and yeah peace even I've just stole that from someone else who I forgot the name of. So yeah, bye.